All right, so here's the garden. Uh, you saw us plant it, it was a time lapse. So what we ended up doing was we have five rows here of potatoes uh, to right here, those five right there. Then we have two rows of green beans, which I'll probably say soybeans at some part in this video because that's just a habit that I wish I didn't have, but I always end up saying that. Uh, and then we did three rows of corn for now. And then I'm gonna plant the other three rows or other four rows, I mean, soon. Uh, that way, uh, when we freeze the corn, we don't have a bunch of it at once to do. Because last year, we had five rows to do at the same time. And it was like 180 ears of corn to uh, peel and boil and all that at once. And it was a lot. So anyways, and we also got a couple. We also have uh, tomato and uh, pepper plants. So this year, we only did four tomatoes. We usually do a lot. But the only thing we're really using for is salsa. So... It's kind of dumb to do a bunch. So we just did four this year, and we got two green bell peppers. Um, last year we planted two of those, and they got really big, but we didn't actually get any peppers. So hopefully this year is different. Then we have two cucumbers, but there's actually there's two things in here, and there was two in each. So that one's got three plants, and this one has four, I think, for one mound, per se. But they'll get really big, make a huge spot. They're on a little bit of a mound, not as big as usual, but whatever. Um... So those were all plants, those weren't seeds. So they already got a head start over the rest. And then up here for the potatoes, basically the way you plant potatoes, is you buy them like this. And anywhere there is one of these, where the stem is coming out, you can cut them into chunks. And then you wanna have at least one of these in a thing. And then you just throw them down here. So uh, here's one kind of sticking out from one of the ones that got planted. So dad was just cutting them up, throwing them in the hole. We put some fertilizer in there. Um, I'm not sure how often he did them, but anyways, they'll get plants real big, uh, and then you have to heal them every so often, and then once they're finally ready, you just uh, use the hoe and get them all out. Uh, so that's it for the potatoes and that stuff, and then down here, we have corn. Like I said, so this corn, I was just looking at it a minute ago, and it's actually starting to germinate. The seeds are, so if I can find it again, there it is. All right, so these are what the seeds look like. The red stuff is uh, the stuff they put on it, fertilizer and stuff. Anyways, you can see that one's already sprouted a little bit. So that's what's going to turn into the corn stalk, and that seed's slowly going to go away. Um, the way you plant these, you want to put... My dad says to put three or four together every foot, but I always just kind of sprinkle them lightly the whole way so there's not gaps. I don't know if I can find any more here. All right, here's another one. So this one is just barely starting. It's got a little thing coming out. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to dig it a little spot back. Bear that. That way, that's another corn stalk. Last but not least, there's two bean rows in here. Uh, all this stuff you see is horse manure. Uh, it helps the garden spread all over. Uh, so I, I don't know if any of these are going to be started yet. But... As my dad would say, make it look like snow. So there it is. They were little seeds, and this one's already starting to pop out. So he says make it like snow. You just kind of want to cover the bottom with the seeds. And that way it'll give you a bunch. So there's one. The seed's gotten bigger, but there's nothing sprouting on it yet. And then here's another one. That one doesn't have anything sprouting either. So we just planted the garden. I think it would have been five days ago so for five days it's all doing pretty good all that stuff is greened up from when we planted it but anyways there's the garden and i'll keep it updated as it grows all right guys today is june 1st uh i just got home from school i'm gonna get some bush hog and nut hair i did some the other day but i didn't finish uh, i gotta get this little bit in this one cow pen right there around them trees 
That's all a bunch of thorns and stuff, and the cows won't eat, eat them. So I got the bush hog hooked up to the 444 here. Uh, it looks kind of weird. I have it sitting on something so it wouldn't go on the toolbox. Uh, so I'm going to start it up, take it out here. I locked the cows in the other pen for right now so I can uh, go do that. And then...
All right, so I'm taking care of the goats and chickens now. Uh -oh. Anyways, these are the eggs I want to show you guys from these Afro chickens. They're really tiny because they're tiny chickens. They're over there. But anyways, the big chickens like that one lay these big eggs, which are like two times the size. And the goats like to eat, try to eat the eggs, but then they usually smell them and walk away. Anyways, just want to show you the eggs because they're kind of funny how tiny they are. Also, I put that... Uh, wire roll thing on there in their pen finally uh the goats have been liking it i put it in here yesterday i stained that a couple of videos back it's propped up on some uh stepping stones that way the ground doesn't rot it uh because now it's not touching the ground at all so anyways they can jump from there to there until i get that other one done and a bridge built that's just gonna be their playground for now so i'm probably gonna sit out here and play with the goats for a little bit they were biting my finger a minute ago Kind of play tug of war with them. When my dad gets back, we're actually going to be taking these two doors off. Uh, tomorrow, I won't be here, so I can't, I won't be able to show it or nothing. I got to work tomorrow, but uh, we got to take these garage doors off, get that deck board up on the side. They're putting a garage door on here tomorrow. So, of course, this is the shop. Uh, these doors are old and crappy. And most time they don't latch. And our dog got locked in here one time and took a giant chunk out of the door. So that's a bunch of mess. We got a hole in the landfill. But anyways, taking those two doors off. And next time you see the shop, it'll have a big garage door on it. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to call it a night for now until we get them doors down. But this video is pretty long. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.